Hey, welcome to this quick training. I'm your host, Damon Nelson, and I wanted to show you some easy methods for finding keyword topics. Now, I've been asked a bunch of times about how do I find topic ideas to go into ZimWriter? Well, that, we made something very easy to use. It's called Keyword Masher, and we have a little tool off of it called Niche Discovery. And if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna give you some ideas about what we're doing with the Niche Discovery. Now you can use more expensive tools like AREFs, SEMrush, Surfer, and we have those tools. When you need something just to generate some ideas to start your research, you have no idea what you're gonna be writing about or what the site's gonna be about, then this is the place to start. So let me show you some ideas. We're gonna be in AI Masher, which you can get a exclusive version for ZimWriter it's called Keyword Masher. It's kind of just a small part of AI Masher uh, that we got available for a lifetime deal. I'm going to be building three sites. One is a dessert site, and one is a note-taking site that I've got off of GoDaddy Auctions. And then one is a cycling site I bought off of uh, Namecheap. It's a really good domain. It's called pushpedalcrank.com. Very excited about these sites, but I need to give my VA some content or some category ideas about what we're building in the site. So I did a, a little bit of brainstorming myself without going to the expensive tools. I've started with dessert sites, so making chocolate at home. I did a little bit of Google research and found these are three popular topics that are talked about on dessert sites. I'm going to take this keyword right here, make chocolate at home, come over here to AI Masher. Now, with the keyword masher, part, you get this, and this actually builds the prompts for your bulk writer. And this is where you're going to put in the final ideas into here to build out. Now, you could start here if you wanted, but really, I'm trying to generate some ideas to fill in this keyword section here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to niche discovery, and I'm going to paste it right here. You have to put in your own open AI. I'm going to use GPT-4. We're not going back and forth a bunch of times, so it's not gonna cost you a lot of money to do that. I'm gonna stick with English here and audience niche discovery. You have two choices, niche discovery and then hot selling products. So do this one first and do the hot selling products next, okay? Making chocolate at home. How many of these ideas do you want? I'm gonna do five just because it's quicker. Okay, so we got some ideas here. Gourmet homemade chocolates, chocolate making for diabetic. Really, homemade vegan chocolate making, organic and fair trade chocolate making at home, homemade truffle making, okay? Very good niche markets that you can further research into. And if you want to, just take this and then put it back up here and you'll get more ideas just on the truffle making. Here are some related terms, cocoa bean sourcing, gourmet candy making. This is a great one. I would just add that to my note file right here. Or my candy making, art of tempering. I don't even know what that is, but I would put that over here on my keywords ideas, okay? Homemade truffle making, absolutely. I would put that over here. So what I'm doing is I'm building up some topics that we can write articles about. Again, you can use the more expensive tools and they're going to narrow it down for you, but this tool right here gives you some outside of the box thinking, okay? That's what we're trying to get with niche discovery and niche ideas. I've got some pretty good ones in here. Let's do some gluten-free cake recipes. So come over here and we'll put that in. I'll scroll down here real quick. We even put trending questions in here. How can one source the best quality? What are the key steps? These are great questions to put into ZimWriter in the bulk writer. Maybe even just do a, an SEO article with these trending questions, each one getting their own page. See that art of tempering, it's still coming up. Unique ideas for specialty foods, homemade chocolates, can vegans. These are popular terms. They're giving you some ideas that you can further develop out. So let's take gluten-free cake recipes, okay? Sticking with the gluten-free, flour, confectionery, baking blogs, baking classes. So these may be some ideas that you would want to put into your dessert site. A celiac disease, sugar alternatives. Great one to put into a cooking site. 
Write a few blogs about sugar alternatives. Dairy-free baking, this is another good one. Vegan sweets. Here are some questions to build your SEO articles on. I would definitely do dairy-free, healthy desserts, maybe use these. And you can just keep building this list of keyword ideas and topics to put in. Let's go to note-taking site. I need some note-taking tips. Come over here to AI Masher. It's going to clear the screen and it's going to give me some note-taking tips. And I bought a site, it's called Sketchbook Projects, and I really didn't know what to do with it. So I'm just fleshing out some ideas that we can build some categories and then fill it in with content like mind mapping. I would have never thought about that. That is a great one. Study practices, strategies for corporate meeting note-taking. These are great niche markets, but they're also category ideas that you can do with note-taking. Visual memory enhancement, dictation software and tools, memorization methods, techniques, and mixing digital and traditional note-taking. Guys, these are great topics that we can put into a title prompt with the keyword basher and then send it into the bulk writer. So I would just copy all these right here. Come over here to my note-taking. And I'll just add those in there. Very good ones to put in here. Get rid of all that numbering. Come back over here, see if there's related terms. Dictation software, shorthand writing techniques, that's great. All these would be great articles to write about. So you can see we started out with note-taking tips and we've got some really good articles. Now here's some trendy questions. So what is the most efficient method for note-taking? What are some good apps for taking? This right here will get you SEO traffic. How can I improve my memory for exam preparation? All these are really good questions to build an SEO article inside of ZimWriters. We're giving you the great questions and we're giving you some great topics to write about. So let's take it one step further. We've got our note-taking site. I'm going to come back over here to Keyword Masher. And we'll do create keywords. So what we're going to do is we're going to find how-to keywords around homemade truffle making. And then we're going to build the title prompt down here. The last site is a cycling site. Let's go in and let's do this one first. Push bikes for children. Again, we're in niche discovery. We're going to put in here push bikes for children. Now, if you have very young kids, this is what the very first bike you buy them is usually a push bike. No pedals. No change, nothing to, to get tangled up. And they're going to learn how to ride a bike with a push bike. Balanced bikes for toddlers, small wheeled bikes for young children. Okay, that's probably a very good topic right there. Eco-friendly children's bicycle. Okay, that, that might be something. Safety gear for cycling. Biking trails, cycling events for children, bike training classes. These are things that I absolutely write about with the bulk rider. Come over here and put some more notes in here, okay? And trending questions. How do I maintain and care for a child's bike? Where can I find child-friendly biking trails? This is a great question. Are there any cycling events for children? How can I effectively teach my child to ride a bike, okay? Maybe I wouldn't use those exact words, but how to teach a child to ride a bike. Very good questions. These are informational search questions. These are great for the SEO rider. And if you take these and you build out your title prompts in Keyword Masher, then you're going to have a lot of really good content. That's how I take these sites. I develop keyword ideas, take the keyword ideas, and I develop title prompts. And then the title prompts I put into the bulk writer, the questions I make into SEO articles using the SEO writer. Let me show you how to do the Keyword Masher. I started with the Homemade Truffle Making 10 Keyword How-To Cluster. So you can see Mastering Truffle Shaping, Creating Dairy-Free Truffles. These are great topics, making alcoholic truffles. And these are the steps, the how-to steps. And they're in the order that you would do these for each of the main topics. Baking truffle cake pops. Gather your ingredients, bake a cake, crumble a cake, mix with icing and truffle flavors, pour them into balls. You could, you could see this is a step-by-step -step how to. I'm going to come over here and hit execute. We're going to put them into how-to articles. We're going to use ZimWriter and we're going to make title prompts with them. 
Now, if you want more training on this particular keyword masher, there is a video in Zimrider about keyword masher. And we go into a little bit more detail about how to do this, but really you put a keyword in that you found in niche discovery or you found in your other tools, create the keyword based around what you're wanting to do. I want to do how to articles. So I'm starting with this to build a main topic and subtopics in the order of a how to. And then I'm going to create my title prompts. And these are built so that you can copy them directly into Bulk Rider. And once they're done, they'll all be processed and ready to go. You can copy to clipboard all, and then you'll paste into Bulk Rider. Okay, we've got all 10 ready to go. And I've upgraded. I'm going to go into Bulk Rider and let's copy to clipboard. So I copied all 10 of these to clipboard. Now, if you're stacking them up and you've got 30, it's going to copy all 30. Come back into Bulk Rider and I'm going to paste them in. Okay. And then I would set it up. This is kind of the way that I, I would do it. And maybe we're going to get some recipes in here. I'm going to do, let's do second person, short answers. And I'll do a T's, H3's. I'm going to put a mid journey prompt for each H2. And then I'm going to do auto style, automatic keywords. Come down here. I'm probably going to use a turbo on this audience personality. Let's do caregiver. Disable conclusion. And that's all I'm going to do. And maybe let's do best of two. Since I'm using turbo, I'm going to do best of two. Now I'm going to just hit start bulk rider. It shows you the title and outline focus. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And it's going to tell you where they're going to save the articles for you. Okay. So that's how easy it is to go from an idea. We started with this one right here. We started with making chocolate at home. I found a really good keyword I'm going to be using. And I put it into the keyword masher on a how to. It created the how to, and then I created the title prompts. I came down here, copied a clipboard, and then went over to Zimrider's Bulk Rider, pasted in, and probably within an hour, I'll have 10 really good articles about how to make truffles. Hopefully, you can follow along with this workflow, and if you don't have Keyword Master yet, just go into keywordmaster.com and you can pick it up. It's a lifetime deal for $97. We're not going to leave it open for much longer. Probably by mid-October, when we release the full version of AI Masher, Keyword Masher will be part of the new AI Masher, but you won't be able to get it on a lifetime deal. Go ahead, take advantage of the special we have running right now for the month of September, and hopefully you enjoy it. Bye-bye.